Hey guys and welcome back here to Born Beautiful here with Amy. I am so excited to be back here with you guys and that is because today we're going to be talking about our July BoxyCharm unboxing. So I'm going to do the same thing this month that I did with my Ipsy where I am going to basically be showing you how I applied these products by putting on clips over the video so you can see how I applied them. Now I am not wearing the same makeup that I was wearing in the clip just because I went out after I did that makeup and I just got so sweaty. It The makeup was basically ruined. So I was like you know what I'm just gonna do something totally new just do my eyeshadow again, do some face makeup, and I'm actually not wearing foundation. So if you see like my little imperfections, they make me who I am. <laughs> but without further ado guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure you take a second, click the subscribe button down below. It's free, it takes a couple seconds, and it's, it's just, you should subscribe. <laughs> And then don't forget to ring the little bell that is right next to the subscribe button, which is going to enable you to get notifications whenever I post new videos. Yes. So the first product that we got is actually this eyeliner right here. This is called the Unibrow Universal Eyebrow Pencil, and it retails for $12. You can find this at WinkyLux.com. I actually had a question about that because in the actual packaging or on it, Oh, I see it now. You can't really tell the name of the brand until you look all the way at the top of one of these sides. It says it really small, winky, lux. So I do have to say that I'm actually in love with the packaging. The packaging gets like a 10 out of 10 stars. It definitely reminds me of hieroglyphics from the Egyptian times and it's so cute. It has like a little poodle. That's all I could really see. Pyramids and eye. And it's so so cute. Like so like tribal Egyptian. -y. I don't know. I just loved the design. And I love that it's white and gold. I don't know. That's just like a bonus point I guess. But now when we talk about this actual brow pencil. It basically just has to fill in sparse areas with the universal pencil and then brush with them with the custom spoolie tip. I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea what they mean by a custom spoolie tip because a spoolie to me, as you can see in the close-up, is pretty standard. I don't find there, I don't find there to be anything custom about it in reality, I mean just looks pretty standard it's a very like kind of like chubby one you know like one of those inexpensive ones you can get that's what it really reminds me of nothing special about it in my opinion now when it comes to the actual eyebrow shade i feel like this is definitely a dark brown mm, there might be a slight taupey look to it but on my eyebrows i do think it comes off like a brown to kind of like a dark brown i really worked to not build it up as much since this product is so creamy it could kind of be easy to go overboard so i just really tried to go soft so that's why they look a little bit not really that dark brown color but i feel like they definitely it, they could definitely be dark brown just really have to that's it that's the color right there to me it personally looks dark brown but i mean to me it worked wonders but calling this a universal brow pencil i feel like if you have blonde hair like a really light this is not really even taupe in my opinion all the edges that it has a triangular in my personal opinion is not the best i definitely like a definer more like you know like the straight thin pencils just because like being able to see where you're actually drawing gets a little bit hard with this with these triangular shapes but it's not like I'm never going to use it this is definitely a product that I'm going to be finishing off definitely but I would personally not purchase this so the next product that I actually used is this beautiful palette right here that I was so excited to receive this is the blink times boxycharm electric eyes palette now when i read electric i was thinking bright colors but they're not really bright i want to say more like they're warm toned shades and these do have kind of like a very soft metallic finish to them i am mean, wearing one of them on the eyes 
but as you can see by these swatches they go on so smoothly they're so buttery soft i want to say these are softer than the queen of hearts palette by colored rain those can be a little bit more although they are soft they can also be chunky because they're really really more like pressed pigments these are definitely eyeshadows that are really 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 finely milled and they're so buttery soft and i know the swatches talk to themselves like basically my words here are useless pretty much because you can see it in the clip i mean the eyeshadows are precious they are beautiful they are all really 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 pigmented now i thought these didn't have names and then i looked at the back of the packaging and it actually does so in order to use this eyeshadow palette the only con that i really do have that's pretty big in my opinion is that there is no matte shades and i get it we for the most part everybody that is a makeup lover will have natural shades but i just really wish there was at least one like transition color in here i don't really care that much for the cream product that goes under your brow bone i mean i could put a powder there instead like a face powder but i really do wish they had a transition shade in here so i definitely had to dig into another palette and the palette that i went into is the tardis pro by tarte palette so the way i started this tutorial was by using the shade innocent this is like a beautiful kind of creamy vanilla with a little hint of brown in it and i went ahead and i put innocent all into my crease and I really blew it out really really far just all over basically the whole whole crease it's a really nice transition shade that I was going for and then after I fully blended that out I went into whimsy whimsy is more of a kind of like orangey kind of terracotta color I don't want to say terracotta because it's more like an orangey kind of pinky kind of color i have no idea how to describe this color but it's whimsy you can see it for yourself so i went with this one that was a little bit deeper than innocent and i just took that right into the crease really just blended that into the crease worked itself in there just gave a nice pop of warmth into the eyes and then i actually went into the blink palette that we just received i went into the shade Rodoni with a brush that was not wet and i did not apply a glitter primer or anything i just went in it to see how it looked dry and to be honest you can see it for yourself it looks beautiful it's so so beautifully pigmented it was no problem picking it up with a brush so i really love that and i just worked that into the actual eyelid and kind of focused it more in the inner part and the outer part or the outer v of the eyelid just because i kind of wanted to create a halo effect so after that, I took like the bright gold in here, which is called a Tony, a Tony, a to Al Tony, something like that. It's like the bright, real, true gold in here. And I went ahead and I put that in the center and it really, really just created a nice pop. I really love the way that looked. This gold is truly one of my favorite like kind of eyeshadow colors to work with. The tone was just perfect. Now this is going to sound crazy but I actually took the middle shade or Vanadini into a brush and I actually applied it right under the brow bone just to give like the under brow bone a highlight which is going to sound crazy. I know it was kind of like too pink for that but I really just wanted you guys to see the pigmentation of it so that's how it looks and as you can see it truly does pop. And then afterwards after I was done with all my face makeup and everything I went in with the darker brown which is called Oprime, Oprime, or Pime, or Pime. Took or Pime, and I took that into the bottom of the lower lash line, and, and I just kind of like really blended it onto the bottom of the lower lash line. So now, lastly, of course, we also have to use Sphine. Sphine is like a beautiful champagne kind of color. It really is really really beautiful. It kind of reminds me of Opal by Becca. I don't know. It's just it's it's really fantastic and it's so soft and pigmented and everything and i just took that into the inner corners and i know i went ham 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 i really killed that inner corner highlight i should have gone lighter i honestly thought it wouldn't be that pigmented and then i put it on the eyes and i was like oh, taking it back really <laughs> it's kind of crazy but literally i was just taken aback by the the glow that this sphine shadow gave me and again really nice and i didn't wet any of those brushes so for this blink palette what i have to say is the packaging is pretty nice it's very lightweight 
So this retails for $45. That's pricey. It comes down, I want to say, to like $8.50 on eyeshadow. And with this quality and this formula, I am honestly going to say I think it's worth it. I honestly do. I mean, I think I'd pay maybe $30 for this. I don't know about $45, but that's just me. The next product that I got is this Invisible Light Translucent Powder Duo, which has a retail price of $32. You can get it at bareminerals.com. So basically, that's telling you right there that this is a Bare Minerals product. It did come in a cardboard packaging. Now, I am going to tell you, I did see this for $20 at Marshalls and TJ Maxx, and I've been seeing them for around there so if you're trying to get your hands on it definitely do i guess what that means is it might be discontinued soon i have no idea or maybe they have a big overstock and that's why it's a tj maxx and marshall's for 20 but i've been seeing there for a couple of weeks already so definitely check it out if you're interested and you don't have boxy charm so it says it has two distinct powders a matte and a glow you're seeing the swatches right now um, you use it to set your liquid foundation and concealer while blurring fine lines, pores, and imperfections. Apply the matte powder to control oil and minimize pores. Apply the gold glow to achieve a subtle lit from within highlight. Continue applying to achieve the desired glow. Now this is what I have to say about this. As you can see right now, I'm applying it to the face. I went in with the brush and I tried two different brushes and it just really wasn't the powder wasn't showing up which I guess is a really good sign but I touched my foundation and it kind of still felt really sticky as if I didn't apply a powder so what I ended up doing was something a little bit risky I took my beauty blender and I went into the powder the white powder the matte side and I applied it all over my face and that actually worked it did kind of give me a white cast initially but as I blended it out with the sponge it just kind of went away and then the stickiness went away with it as well so here it is, look. So you see how this one is matte now? Look at this side. This is oily right here, right? So I'm going to take some of the matte just on my finger. And just going to kind of like dab it on. And see how it's like less oily right there? Right here? Yeah. I feel like it definitely does a good job of mattifying. The only problem I have is I feel like this is a powder that you really have to like kind of layer on. And as you can see, you can see that white cast until you blend it out. Once you blend it out though, you're good. So definitely have that in mind. I definitely would use this with a sponge instead of an actual brush. I actually did really enjoy it. Now the glow side... Mm, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that one. I'm not crazy about it. Um, I find like... All over, it does give you a nice glow. Like, there's definitely shimmer in here. I can see it. Yeah, there's definitely shimmer. And I'm just not crazy about it. I try to use it as a highlighter in the clip. And what happened is... At first, it was really, really subtle. So if you like, like that natural glow, maybe this is for you. But then I like started to try to build it up, and it started looking a little ashy on me. And highlighters typically don't look ashy on me, so I kind of want to say this glow powder is more per se. I mean, they're saying right here you can add it intensely to create a like popping highlight. If you want to pop in highlight with this, you're definitely going to have to be a lot more lighter complexion than I am. So just take that into consideration. But I actually do like it. I like it. I, I especially like the matte powder. The glow, I feel like I'm not going to be getting a lot of use out of it. But in my box, even if I just use the matte one, I feel like that's a win. The next product that I have, guys, is actually a ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip, and this is in the shade Beeper. So, so many YouTubers have raved about this. I think one that I've heard a lot is Kathleen Lines. Don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure it is, like, 90% sure it's her, but I don't want to, like, say something and then be wrong about it, but I'm pretty sure she raves about this color as well as other YouTubers but I can't really specifically remember for some reason just Kathleen comes into mind but I know I heard a lot about this shade now what I'm gonna say it's really beautiful I love the packaging of ColourPop ColourPop packaging is bomb the letters though the ColourPop like the logo and everything on the actual tube do like fade away pretty quickly and I don't use my actual ColourPop lippies too often yet they still really do fade quickly like even right now it's like my second time touching it and some of it it's coming off like it comes off really really quickly it's crazy 
So the retail price for these ultra matte lippies from Colourpop is actually $6, which is crazy cheap and inexpensive, guys. This is what I'm going to say. I tried this on without exfoliating and with no chapstick, nothing under. And it kind of started feeling really, really dry and it almost wanted to crack. That's what I'm going to say about this. Now, here's my second thing on this. Uh, today, this right here is my second application. I actually showered, I exfoliated my lips, I put oil on them, and then I put a chapstick. With the chapsticks, I let it soak up. I took off the excess. They still felt kind of like oily, you know, that chapstick kind of feel. And then I went in with this Beeper lipstick. And what happened there, liquid lipstick, is what you see right now. It definitely looks a lot more smoother. It has been on my face for like three hours already. It looks beautiful. Like, my lines aren't even emphasized or anything. So I definitely do think this is a lipstick. You have to be really, 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 really high maintenance with your lips like you need to be nicely exfoliated nicely like some modern in some oil or some chapstick and maybe that's why they tell you to put a lip liner under just so you have like a creamy base and then you put this on top and it's like more of a smooth finish instead of just putting it with no preparation and then like looking like your lips almost want to crack into like different pieces so am I mad about this lipstick? At the moment, I am not because it has been on my lips for like three hours and it is perfect. Doesn't even feel like I have matte liquid lipstick to be honest. I am satisfied and the color is beautiful. That too, it really oxidizes when you initially put it on. It looks like a very nudie color and then like within seconds, it becomes like a very deep mauve kind of color. I just really love the color though. It's really pretty. But it can be a little bit misleading in the packaging. And lastly, the last product that I received this month in my BoxyCharm is by Project Beauty. And this is the Spray Set Go Makeup Setting Spray. It retails for $32. It says keep your makeup fresh all day long. Just spray, set, and go. You got this gorgeous. After applying your makeup, mist this lightweight spray at arm's length. Allow it to dry naturally. Okay, that is really important. It says to spray it at arm's length. You need to take that very seriously. When I did apply this at the like initial kind of misting, first nothing came out. And then when something came out, it like wet my face. It was just like overpowering, like oh my god. But I literally just went farther, like arm's length, literally arm's length. And you get a perfect mist, perfect mist, like literally. And I like that this spray bottle, this nozzle, like has two sprays in one click, like I'm just gonna show it like it like stops here in one spray, stops here in another spray. It's really awesome. Really like it. So I feel like you need like basically like three full sprays or six with this nozzle. So I really actually like it. I enjoyed it. It's not it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Whether I notice it different on my face, I think it makes it a little bit more dewy. Nothing crazy. I definitely feel like my MAC one, like um, MAC Fix Plus definitely makes my skin feel more dewy. It's kind of like a nice refresher. I don't know about making my makeup lasting or anything since I really haven't really tested it. But for $32, I honestly wouldn't pay that. This has two fluid, fluid ounces. I think the MAC one has like four or five. I'm not sure, like... This kind of reminds me of the Milani size, which is 10 bucks. I would pay 20 for this. That's about it. Wouldn't give more than $20 for this. But without further ado, guys, that's everything that's in my BoxyCharm for the July 2017 box. Let me know what you thought of it. Let me know what did you get. If you have a video, link it down below so I could take a look at it. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe down below if you are not new thanks so much for all the support i really appreciate every single one of you so if you would like to see another video of mine i will leave some in a couple of seconds so without further ado guys remember you were born beautiful and makeup just enhances it and i will see you in the next one bye